on this sterling edition of Titans All Access. Neil Reynolds of Sky Sports is our Nissan insider. He's the man known as the UK's Rich Eisen. This top presenter gives us insight for all Titans fans heading across the pond this week. A top man with a Titans operations crew has a big week getting the team to London. But as a connoisseur of pie, he takes Mike Keith to a lovely pizza spot in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. This man keeps making incredible plays as a receiver. Coach Mack goes beneath the surface to explain how DeAndre Hopkins can help the Titans battle those nasty Ravens this week at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London. This show goes international and is loaded up for Great Britain. Titans All Access, Bob's your uncle. Let the show commence. But there he is, the Yuli Bulldozer, Derek Henry. Got Chris Moore. Can he catch it? What a catch! Ryan Tannehill! That big chip! There's another intercept of Adi Hunter. There's Hopkins making the catch. Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and another edition of Titans All Access. I'm Mike Keith, and look who's here. It's Coach Dave McGinnis. Welcome. Well, I'm always glad to be here. Welcome to the top of the show. Top of the show? I'm not always on the top of the show. Well, sometimes you okay, are. Okay, well, I'll take the welcome. But so, we're going thanks. with top news on this show, and that is the best game yet for DeAndre Hopkins, the Titans wide receiver. Eight catches for 140 last week. We see this guy who's got 879 catches and understand he's on his way to the Hall of Fame. And I think we see exactly why Rand Carthon wanted him in the offseason. And we're starting to see him pick up the offense more and more. Yeah, D-Hop's a pro's pro. I mean, and this guy, you knew, you knew the contribution and the yardage was going to come. It was just a matter of time. He and Ryan Tannehill have nice connection. But he is so versatile, Mike. We can do so many things with him. And here's about D-Hop. When he's open, throw it to him. When he's covered. Throw it to him. He'll catch it. Oh, he's something else. I want to take a look at some of that versatility as we're going to go beneath the surface, powered by Microsoft. I'll let you lead Let's the way, go. Coach. We've got two plays from DeAndre Hopkins we're going to take a look at. The first one comes on a third down. First, look, we're going to – now, you see D-Hop and you say, well, it doesn't look like he's at wide receiver. They do a lot of things with him. He's in the backfield here. He's like a running back back here in the backfield. Now, for a defense, that presents a lot of problems. How are we going to match him up? How are we going to match with the other people? This is a big conversion here on third down. And take a look and see what happens here. This is D-Hop, and you can see him. You can see him. You see what he's doing here right now? This is not insignificant. He's looking at the coverage. He's looking at the coverage to see the type of route he's going to have to run. And he understands the coverage and how he's going to uncover. And I want to show you this protection that we have. Look at this. We always talk about clearing the cylinder for the quarterback. Let's look at this cylinder right here as it's cleared. This is a clear view for the quarterback. This quarterback's got a beautiful clear view. Right now what he's doing, he's looking off the receiver. He's looking away from where this ball is going to be thrown. Look at all the people around D-Hop when he catches that football. Look at the number of people surrounding him. Tannehill looking it off, good protection, and then D-Hop, he's going to catch the football. And this is a very valuable first down from a running back position for one of the best wide receivers in the league. Well, let's watch it one more time all the way through with everything that I've explained. Take a look. You see Brewer, you see Brewer put his hand up, up, up to the left. He, Brewer put his hand up to the left. Brunskill's the tap guy. He's tapping the center because it's loud, loud, loud in that stadium. Watch it all the way through. Let's get a clear view of it. Nice catch, go down. Now, let's watch Tajay Spear. Get off of my guy. Now watch Brewer come in here. Get off of the little guy. <laughs> Let's take a look at a deep pass that we had a chance to see DeAndre Hopkins catch, and this ends up being a 38-yard play. So let's move to the next one, Coach. This is what you called up in the box. You, you call this a diamond formation, correct? I do, because there's also a back here directly behind Ryan Tannehill as well. So when you heard Mike Keith call the diamond formation, this is what he's talking about. Now, both of these guys back here can do an, any number of things. They can free release, so you can get five out in the scheme. They can help protect one side or the other. This is turn protection. This is turn protection, which is play action protection, which is max protection. 
So when you heard Mike Keith call the diamond formation, this is what he's talking about. Now, both of these guys back here can do an, any number of things. They can free release, so you can get five out in the scheme. They can help protect one side or the other. This is turn protection. This is turn protection, which is play action protection, which is max protection. We're going to turn the line. We're, these two guys are going to come over here this way, and then the line's going to turn. Watch this. See the turn protection? Have come this way, and then we have turned this protection this way. That's turn protection, that's max protection off of the play action. Max protection off the play action because this route we're getting ready to see, this is a TRC. When you hear me say TRC in the booth, this is a transcontinental. This is coming from one side of the field to the other, but Mike, it takes a long time for this to happen, and for this to happen, you have to have tremendous protection. All right, let's take a look at the play. Look at the bot. Look at the look at look at the protection. Look at this pocket right here that he has right now. Take a look at this pocket right here. How clean this is. This is a and you. In fact, you've got people. You got Skaronski over here looking for work. Peter Skaronski is up here right here. He's looking for work because he got everybody blocked up. This is a transcontinental. It's against a split safety look. So it takes a long time to get across the field. Watch the result. And there's D-Hop. Big, big play, but all of that has to come together. So DeAndre Hopkins, tremendous addition to this football team. Offensively, he's a weapon however you want to use him. We've seen an instance out of the backfield, and then we've seen a transcontinental. But in both instances, we've had a good cylinder to throw from, and we've had good protection. It all adds up. Coach Mack, thanks for taking us beneath the surface, presented by Microsoft. You do so many nice things for us. Speaking of nice things, some Titans fans from the UK provided us with some inside information, so we will look local on our trip. In this week's Listen Up, presented by Duncan, we take you across the pond for intel. Hi, my name's Bob, and here's a few words of advice when you come in over to London. Anyone working behind a bar should be addressed as governor. The best thing you can do when you come over and visit us for the game is have a full English breakfast. Don't call the NFL football. If you do that, you'll be punched in the face by a man with no teeth. Be careful out there. Don't worry about tipping. There's no tipping here at pubs or kind of most restaurants. Tea is served with milk and sugar. Tea without sugar is just vegetable soup. Don't talk to anyone on the tube. Have yourself some crumpets. They're actually delicious. My advice is, mind the gap. My advice is to not stand on the left going down the escalators. Always stand on the right. Big Ben is actually the name of the bell. The tower is called the Elizabeth Tower. So nobody goes to see Big Ben actually sees it. So now you know about London. How about Tottenham Hotspur Stadium where the Titans are going to play? We've got the intel on that next on Titans All Access. It's time for the decision of the week presented by Hughes and Coleman. We recognize defensive coordinator Shane Bowen's decision to start blitzing defensive back Roger McCrary from the slot. McCrary sacked Deshaun Watson at Cleveland with a well-timed blitz and then added another sack at Indianapolis. Excellent scheme. Perfect execution. A great decision. Using McCrary in this way is the decision of the week presented by Hughes and Coleman. Welcome back to Titans All Access in the Bet MGM studio. The Titans are on their way to London this weekend to play for the first time since 2018. Tennessee is the home team as they take on the Baltimore Ravens in Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's start with this. It's important to note that when Europeans mention soccer, they say football. When they refer to American football, they'll just say the NFL. And when they say something about a pitch, they're talking about a playing field. Keep all that in mind as we go. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is the home of the Premier League soccer team. Their nickname is the Spurs. So locals refer to the stadium as Spurs Stadium. That's what we'll call it since we're the home team this week. It seats 63,000 and it took 10 years to build from the time that it was first discussed until the time it opened in 2019. Why? Because Spurs Stadium is the first of its kind in the world as it was designed 
for both Premier League soccer and NFL games in mind. John Babs is the longtime stadium director for the Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. So we have a uh, chairman called Daniel Levy and a very uh, active uh, board of directors who wanted to create the best NFL uh, experience that we could possibly provide. So we went uh, all over America, we visited countless stadiums in America, decided that what we wanted to do was, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it properly, we want to enter into a real partnership with the NFL, put down a, uh, a purpose-built artificial pitch. The only way to put down an artificial pitch and not, uh, not hurt our turf pitch was to be able to move the turf pitch out of the stadium so we can then lay uh, a purpose-built artificial pitch for all the NFL sports. Again, a quick clarification for our audience. The football pitch is the field for the soccer team. The NFL pitch is the field for the NFL. And Spurs Stadium has both. We have three sections which are about 33 meters wide each by 110 meters long. They're effectively three large trains. They run on tracks, they're electric motors, and they, I think each one weighs about 3,000 tons each. It takes us about 25 minutes to roll them out of the stadium and unearth. And the atmosphere for NFL games in Tottenham is outstanding by design. We close the majority of the roads early so we can get a, uh, an extended fan zone around the outside of the stadium. We have a lot of attractions outside. We encourage people to come in early and really enjoy the day. When they're in here, the stadium works actually probably better for the NFL games than it does our own football games because when we hold football games, we have some legislation which stops people drinking alcohol in view of the pitch. For the NFL, that legislation isn't in place. You try to really maximize the space itself. We're really proud of it. As Vice President of Operations for the Tennessee Titans, Brent Akers is in charge of getting the team to London and making sure all of the accommodations, travel, and everything else goes smoothly. He's an expert on a lot of things, and when we come back, I'm going to ask him to follow me through Tennessee to hit on something that he knows a lot about, pizza, at one of my favorite pizza places, Big Ed's in Oak Ridge. That's next on Titans All Access. This is Stadium in 60. Quick update on the Titans' new stadium. The new Titans Stadium is being designed for the team to have the best home field advantage possible, but it is also being designed for other events. It will be an amazing venue for concerts. Kellen DeCourcy is the Titans' new stadium project executive. Obviously, it's the biggest stage in Nashville, we've been saying, and that's been an emphasis in the design. One of the intentional things we've done is build in where the stage sits. We actually have retractable seating so we can pull the stage back into the seating bowl, and then it allows us to have additional seating, um, more concert viewable seats in the stadium. But uh, one of the things that I think is going to set this venue apart from all is uh, our floor seating. We actually are going to have have the ability to have guests walk in at event level, um, all 10,000 fans on the, on the event level actually have restrooms and concessions right there on that level. For the latest news, visit titansnewstadium.com. Oak Ridge, Tennessee is known for a lot of things, but one of the best known things in Oak Ridge, at least of the last 50 years, is Big Ed's Pizza. Today, we're going to take the Titans Vice President of Team Operations, Brent Akers, to see if the pizza meets his exacting standards. I do like to travel around the world and eat pizza. You set the thing with the top 15 pizza places in America from USA Today. Right. And you had actually been to 12 of them. Yes. And you didn't agree with the list. There's a few more I would add to that. Here we go. Brent Akers runs team operations for the Titans. He's the vice president of team operations. That means he's traveled all over the country. 15 top pizza restaurants in the country listed by USA Today. He's been to 12 of them. So he's had the best. Tell us this, do kids get up here and watch? And watch yeah. him make them? Yeah. Okay, can I do that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. I feel like Guy Fieri. That's the heat taking that gluten and... How do you know all? I don't know, Mike. <laughs> all right. 
Why do you think the cheese tells the story of what they really do? Because it takes, you taste all the ingredients that matter. Okay. You went crust first. Mm hmm Because you were so impressed with how you made the crust? Mm hmm I'm gonna come back Friday night and stand on the stairs over here and watch them make it. <laughs> Whoa. David Thornton right here. Good. The crust is outstanding on the edge when he folds it over. But that's, that's the key. When we brought you this. Oh yeah, that's going on the wall. Outstanding. Did I tell you? Outstanding. Big Ed's Pizza. I don't think it's going to make it home. I don't think it's going to make it home either. Welcome back to the Vet MGM studio and Titans All Access. Our Nissan insider, well, he's an insider on the NFL in the UK from Sky Sports NFL, Neil Reynolds. How are you? Good, Mike. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're right in, the, right in the middle of all these London games now. And uh, yeah, just so exciting to have every everybody's attention in the NFL on the UK and on London. It's always a special time of year. You've been talking about the NFL since 1991, long before anyone got the idea that there would be games played in London on a regular basis and that it would become part of the fabric of the NFL, which it is now. Why did you get so interested in the NFL so early? So I was a, I was just a fan, saw it on Channel 4. There was just, there were only four channels in the UK then. Uh, it was one of the channels that was showing highlights of the NFL. Uh, there was a curly haired rookie by the name of Dan Marino, who everyone was getting excited about. I kind of, that piqued my interest and my, uh, passion for the NFL began there. What do fans in the UK think of Derrick Henry? They recognize him as one of the true stars and he's one of those that will again slightly transcend the sport because he will he will go viral every now and then with you know stiff art you know when he sent Josh Norman flying uh you know that those kind of things so yeah Derek Derek is undoubtedly one of the for us as we watch among American football fans last five six seven years one of the absolute stars of the league. What do fans in the UK talk about when they discuss Mike Vrabel's team? You're always going to get a gritty team. You're going to get a tough team. The Titans know who they are, and they are they are always going to be tough. They're always going to be well coached. They're going to be ready. It doesn't mean they're going to win every week, but they're going to be ready. And actually, they've done quite a lot of winning because of that approach. OK, so we're the home team Sunday at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We're playing Baltimore. Please don't tell me Baltimore is more popular than we are. No, no, I wouldn't say that. No, I think it's. <laughs> I think that's probably a tie. The Titans are one of those teams that are, you know, I think be, have been helped by the the reach in the championship game, having players like Derrick Henry, you know, being being in that playoff mix, you know, three of Coach Vrabel's first four years. So, um, yeah, they're not they're not the most popular team in the in the UK, but they're certainly growing their numbers, and they won't be. It won't be outshouted by by Ravens fans. A lot of Titans fans are coming over. They are so excited to be part of this whole adventure. If they've got to do one thing in London outside of the obvious, what does Neil Reynolds recommend? Either two things. You can either get on the uh, boat and go up the River Thames, and you'll see a lot of the sights there. This is so touristy, but I actually still do. We still do it. We live 45 minutes from London. We'll do it every now and then. You get on the open top bus, and you do the whole city tour. Because I just, it's just, you do it in a couple of hours, you can hop on and hop off. It is a wonderful city, that's the way to see all of it. You know, and um, yeah, stop off in a pub or two. Thank you so much for doing this. Neil Reynolds, look forward to seeing you as the Titans head to London to take on the Baltimore Ravens at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Mike. If you'd like to hear more of my conversation with Neil Reynolds, subscribe to the official Titans podcast, better known as the OTP. You can get it wherever you get your podcasts, including TennesseeTitans.com. We've got more Titans All Access from the BetMGM studio right after this. Welcome back to Titans All Access from the BetMGM studio. Time now for our Seat Geek keys to the game. Key number one, Limit Lamar. 
You know Lamar Jackson can really, really run. He can also make big plays in the passing game. But if you limit him, if you limit the runs and limit the big plays, you give yourself a chance to win this football game. Key number two, block the big guys. Baltimore has always been big up front on defense, exceptionally large. They have a philosophy that with those big people on the front of their defensive line, it gives their linebackers a chance to be free and run and make plays. If you can block the big guys, you somehow will be able to keep the linebackers tied up as well, and you can move the football. But it starts by winning the line of scrimmage against some big humans. Key number three, be fresh as a daisy. Yes, the Titans are going to travel to London. Yes, there is a massive, massive time change. Yes, their bodies will say, we're playing at 8.30 a.m. Central on Sunday. So what? Who cares? You've got to force yourself to be as fresh as you can possibly be. When the Titans played in London five years ago, they didn't win the football game, but they had absolutely no problem with any of the jet lag or anything else. Bottom line, Titans were ready to play and came out with a lot of energy. They'll need that against the Ravens come Sunday. Again, it's the Titans and the Ravens Sunday at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, or if you're like us and now you know the lingo, Spurs Stadium. Titans Radio's coverage of this game will be on the air at 7.30 a.m. Central Time with an 8.30 a.m. kickoff against Central Time, the Titans and the Ravens from London. We hope you'll join us. I'm Mike Keith, thanking you for joining us for Titans All Access, and we'll see you next time.